Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's George here. Here we have another target. It's a six inch by three eighths thickness AR500 material. Just for reference, I put a 12 ounce string here and uh, you know, for some of you guys that are out there trying to buy targets, you know, I almost bought a a four inch target, but uh, I think a six would be kind of good for for practicing uh, maybe eight inch. But anyways, uh, I bought this off eBay for about fourteen dollars, and uh, you know, it looks pretty smooth. I mean, supposedly these are uh, precision plasma cut, and supposedly the metal is submerged in water. So, you know, as you can see, they didn't grind off anything. I mean, it's just uh, the way it came out. It came out pretty nice. You know, small little imperfection there, but that don't bother me. Um, how do I say this? As you can see, the top part right here is a little bit, sticks out a little bit more, kind of like, kind of slanted on, on one side so one one side's a little bit wider than the other but once again I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot this so this is six inch and we got about we're about one sixteenth or one sixteenth short right there on that side and on this side we're about six inches and then an, and a sixteenth. So, so yeah, there you go. I mean, it's pretty close to the six inch uh, diameter. Same thing, uh, like my other targets, I got this was one mounting tab here or, or hole or whatever you want to call it. And uh, there's uh, different methods uh, to hang these. And I plan on using something like a Kind of like a hook like this. Sorry about that. You know, kind of hang them like that and just let them, let them hang loose. <laughs> so, or I'll use a rod like this and I'll just go ahead and bend to get a, a pipe bender or a rebar bender and, you know, go from there. But once again, I mean, pretty cheap targets here you know 14 bucks you know clean metal pretty nice material like I said um, there's different processes for cutting these out and you know they'll all work some people are gonna paint them some people leave them raw I'll probably do them like this raw I don't, I don't really mind much about the color but um, I'll put it in the description who, who I bought it from and what I paid and you know if you're interested, I guess just give them a call and, you know, good luck with, uh, you know, target shooting and hopefully I'll have my range up and running in the near future. So that'll be it for this video. And uh, you know, once again, you know, side by side comparison, that'll probably be the smallest I'll go for uh, a handgun, but. For rifles, you can go 3-inch, 4-inch, 2-inch, whatever you want to use. Alright guys, well, see y'all later.